Oh, shoot. Well, they got me again. Dang on it. Hey, 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 guys. This is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Grind. And just recently, they added a new update to the demo version of this. They've got a Yellowstone map that they added to this, and they made a whole bunch of other updates to it. I went ahead and off-screen checked into some of these things, and, well, honestly, I think it's best to go ahead and take you through some of these, just so you can see what's been improved. Some of them have been decreases in the amount of the prices of certain things, like, well, the live crawfish is now down to $40 instead of 75 I think it was what it what it was before and a few other things that have changed is just the prices and since I oh yeah we've got the fish traps now small fish traps are now added to this and we can place them and catch fish you know basically off screen I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this and see what we can do with it should have enough money for the small one. All right. And the other thing, like I said, they added the Yellowstone map to the entire game. And I checked it out. I played for like about, I guess about 20 or 30 minutes. Filled up my entire backpack. And... When I try to get back to the car, I got attacked and killed by Kruger. <laughs> so, <laughs> we now have another nemesis in our maps. We have Cougars. I don't know how to find them or how to avoid them. But, I'm going to go ahead and check this out. Let me see. They also added some different features to the Oregon map. They made it so they've added signs. And they've also added, supposedly, better abilities to find the deer. I'm going to check this out real quick. But Another thing I noticed, they did dim down the brightness of each of the maps. See, before, it was very, very... Well, very bright, actually. But now we can see we've got... Trout marked here, and this is marking trout and largemouth bass. Going this way. I don't know if they've marked all the... All the lakes with this, but... In the previous lake, you could only get trout. I'm going to go ahead and head over here and see if we can't see any deer. Supposedly the aiming mechanism for the gun is supposed to be improved. It's supposed to be based on the sights now. I don't know how they had it based on before, but... Well, let's get, get over to this particular lake and see if we can't run across another deer.
Also notice that you don't have to load the gun before you start out, so that's good. But they do have ammunition you can purchase in the marketplace, so when you do run out of ammo, I don't know how you check that, but doesn't really tell you here. No. Well, I guess we'll find it as we go. Yeah, it used to be that the deer only appeared when you came down here. Now it's kind of at random, so... I may not see any deer at this point. No deer. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and head over to the, the hunting tower over to the left. Okay, here we've got the... That's the deer tower there. I don't see any... Uh, of course, no deer. That's the way it usually works out. Well, we're gonna have to head back to the main path here. This time we didn't see any deer. Of course not. <laughs> well, it's probably going to be more random at this point. Back to the marketplace. Well, let's see if we can check out the Yellowstone. Yeah. I'm gonna have to re I'm gonna have to buy this again. Oh, I don't have enough money. Shoot. Seriously? Honest to God, I do not have enough money. Well, we're going to have to go probably to another map and get enough fish to buy the map. Let's go to Florida. Yeah, last time we were here at Florida, things didn't end all that well. <laughs> I don't know how to avoid the alligators, but it's gotta be a way. It's gotta be a way, just like with the bears. Now we we got on here, and that's where the alligators basically pulled us into the water. Let's go to the other side and see if there's anything on the other side that we might be able to work with. There's anything here. Not a thing. Oh boy. Not good. 
So how do we avoid getting eaten? <laughs> Maybe we just have to keep moving. That's a good possibility. Just keep moving. Got something very big here. Yeah, when I was off screen, I managed to catch some bluegill and some crappie here. But this is much bigger than bluegill or crappie. What is that? A bow fin. Cool. He's only twenty-three dollars, but still. That's a brand new fish for the encyclopedia. Let's go down a little bit because I'm a little bit afraid that we're going to get taken down by an alligator. <laughs> Alright, this four pound test. Let's see what we got here, guys. Definitely not a crappie or a loop. Our bluegill. A new one. What's this one? Red drum. Awesome. Okay, this is. Not as big as the red drum, but a little bit smaller. What the heck was that? Was that a bluegill? A 2.6 pound bluegill. That's awesome. That is a massive bluegill. Jesus. Alright, let's see what this guy is. It is a seriously large crappie. 3.1 pound crappie at $12. Not bad. Now if we could just avoid the darn alligators. <laughs> oh, nope. <laughs> Daggone it. <laughs> yeah, shoot. Well, lost <laughs> every fish we got. I don't know how to avoid them. Maybe we just have to go back to the car and sell them every <laughs> couple of times we catch them. Jesus. That's terrible. <laughs> Well, we have to go back to Florida. I think what we have to do is catch a couple of fish and head back to the car and sell them and head 
Back to the dock. There's no other option. These guys are relentless. Got something decent sized here. What is that? Another red drum? $38? Yeah, we're gonna have to go. Let's go back. <laughs> it's gonna take time, but honestly, <laughs> it's only we can make this work. Losing the fish every time is stupid. Yeah, the only problem with this is with the bears, you can actually see them. The alligators are basically taking <laughs> taking your chances. Okay, we have a hot spot over here. Is that small muff bass? That's cool. That is really cool. Let's try to see if we can't get a couple of fish with this. I guess we're gonna have to go back to the car because. Now the alligators are a problem. <laughs> oh shoot! <coughs> well, they got me again. Dang on it. Uh, how do you avoid them? There's no way to. There's no way, way to avoid the dang on things. Ah, uh, God. Well, let me see here, guys. Yeah, there's no way to avoid the darn things. We have to get $200 to go to Yellowstone. I think what we need to do is we're going to have to go back to Alaska. We know how to avoid the bears, so if we can get enough fish here, we should be able to make a purchase for Yellowstone. Fine. There it is, hot spot.
Now, if we can get enough fish here, we should be able to get enough money to go to Yellowstone and... Well, make things work. In Florida. Trying to see if we can see any bears. I don't see any bears at the moment. Some burbot. Definitely got some big fish here, guys. Another decent burbot. Well, let's go back and sell these guys. I'm afraid they've changed so many things recently that. I'm afraid the bear. I haven't seen any of the bears. So we're gonna have some issues with bears. sell these guys. Alright, we are been bumped up a little bit. 258. Yeah, the only problem now is that we can't see the bears. I don't see anything across the lake at all. enough fish to go on to Yellowstone and I don't think we quite got there yet. Alright, we're gonna 
try to get these fish in so that we can move on to the next level. We have a bear. I see him. Let's get the heck out of the way. <laughs> yeah, he was heading for us. Without a doubt. Let's get to the other side of the lake. works here. That bear is finally gone over on the other side. So it should be alright. Okay, we've got something. Probably a grayling. Yep. I'll take him, though. I think we're going to have to move down. Well, we've got enough fish here to make a difference. I think we're going to be able to get the Yellowstone map purchased. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Seriously? Damn bear. Uh, well, <laughs> it 
That didn't work out so well. Still do not have enough cash to go on to the next level. Well, actually we do. Let's go ahead. Okay, we've got the Yellowstone map. Yeah, let me tell you, this map is very, very big. And we have a different type of enemy here. And last time I went to the left, I want to try going to the right. Now we have cougars. Looks like we have some kind of a tower here. We can't do anything with it. The last time I came here, I went up it and... Look like we could do something with it, but nothing is available to us. At least not yet. I really don't know what they have planned for this, but looks like something has to be available to us. And the best thing we can do is just head down here and see if we can't find the river that's running down here. Yeah, this map is absolutely huge. But here we go, we've got... I think some place we can fish. I don't know if this is a hot spot or not, but we're gonna try it. Nope. There we go. Oh, shoot. Well, that didn't end well. <laughs> we got... <laughs> I guess we died at a cougar. <laughs> now, how do we avoid that? 
Jesus. Well, shoot. Well, so far we lost everything we caught there. That sucks. Yeah, in Yellowstone you have to deal with cougars. You've got bears in Alaska. Alligators in Florida. <laughs> it's going to be tough. <laughs> no matter what we do. Well, guys, that's the new stuff that's been added, basically. Definitely making it more challenging, without a doubt. But I hope you like the first look at this. If anything, we're going to have to try to approach this at a different level. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>